The game we are playing today is called Constructing Quadrilaterals with String. Using side and angle property cards, your goal is to accurately create quadrilaterals with string that satisfy the properties. The materials needed to play this game include the angle and side property cards, three feet of string per pair of players if you are inside, three yards per group of four players if outside. Each group also needs four sticky notes or a sheet of paper for measuring angles. Before the game begins, flip over a card from each pile. Try to create as many quadrilaterals you can using those two property cards. To further explore the properties of quadrilaterals, you can play with the ShapeMakers interactive app on this website. Flip over other angle side pairs of property cards. Continue trying to find as many types of quadrilaterals as possible to fit the cards until you feel ready to start the game. To play, find a partner to work with. Each pair of players gets one string. Begin the game by flipping over one angle property card and one side property card. Using those two property cards, all pairs try to create as many different types of quadrilaterals as possible. In turn, each pair shows one type of quadrilateral that satisfies both properties to the rest of the players. Pairs must explain how each of the property cards are satisfied by the type of quadrilateral created. To verify there is a right angle in the shape, students can either use a small sticky note or a sheet of paper to justify their angles. To show that all sides are congruent, students can fold a string to correctly measure the side lengths. When a pair has correctly justified a quadrilateral, they receive one point. In turn, each pair has the opportunity to earn a point for each new type of quadrilateral they can find that satisfies the property cards for the round, as long as no other group has already presented that type. Continue sharing quadrilaterals until no pair can find another quadrilateral type to share. Return each card to its pile for the next turn. A new round begins with the players to the left of the pair who flipped the cards in the last round. Continue gameplay until all pairs have had a turn to flip the property cards at least twice. The pair with the most points at the end of the game wins. Throughout the game, you should be thinking about these questions. Pause here and on the next two slides to read the questions, considering each question. A variation of the game is to take it outside. When playing outside, groups of four players will use three yards of string to create quadrilaterals. Another variation is to incorporate the diagonal cards, switching them out with either the side or angle cards. Click on the instructions link on the Regional Math Science Center website to read the game rules or just re-watch this video, pausing as needed. Thanks for playing!